of Indonesia. Madam President, I'm taking the floor to exercise Indonesia's rights of reply to the statement made by Vanuatu. I'm appalled that Vanuatu keeps using this August forum to infringe the sovereignty and territorial integrity of other member states and continues its ill intention and politically motivated aggression against Indonesia. We strongly reject false, baseless allegation and misrepresentation that continues to be nurtured by Vanuatu. They create false and empty hopes and fuel conflicts, sadly, at the expense of innocent lives. Vanuatu tries to impress the world with its so-called concern for human rights issues. In reality, their version of human rights is twisted and fails to mention inhumane and heinous acts of terror committed by armed separatist criminal groups. Vanuatu deliberately close its eyes when these armed separatist criminal groups murdered nurses, health care workers, teachers, construction workers, and law enforcement apparatus. These are the peoples who actually dedicate their lives for the pop ones. When innocent construction workers were brutally murdered, why did Vanuatu choose to be silent? When teachers were mercilessly slayed and killed, why did Vanuatu choose to be silent? When public facilities built for the people of Papua were destroyed, why did Vanuatu, once again, choose to remain silent? In fact, Vanuatu is advocating separatism under the guise of artificial human rights concern. Is this their understanding of human rights? Vanuatu has repeatedly tried to question the unquestionable status of Papua as an integral state, as an integral part of Indonesia. This violates the purposes and principles of the UN Charter and contravenes the Declaration on Principles of International Law concerning friendly relation and cooperation among states. We cannot let this repeated offense against the UN Charter continue in this forum. Madam President, Indonesia is a pluralistic country with vibrant democracy and respect for rule of law, good governance, and social justice. And we live up to our commitment to promoting and protecting human rights. Democracy, rule of law, good governance, and social justice are all vital components in the quest for human rights. All our citizens are treated as equal, regardless of his or her sociocultural, religious, or economic background. Open your eyes. See the whole picture. See everything, or you will be lost. I thank you, Madam President. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, 
subscribe dan share ya. Oh, 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 oh,